Okay, we've got some um, vintage horror here and maybe one that ain't. I'm not sure when this is from. I did something really dirty and uh, saw this in the bookstore and uh, it was 9 99 and I looked it up online and it was 2 36 <laughs> so I bought it on eBay. 2009 this one came out so this is Some 40 Tales from the Afterlives by David Eagleman um, and it's got a quote by Brian Eno so you know it's good. Um, We'll see if we can just see a blurb here. So yeah, it's short stories about the afterlife, obviously. If you're interested in that, looking forward to that. This is what I'm reading just now. Guy N. Smith, the master. Dark, satanic, evil haunts the Scottish islands. Highlands. So, um, I've got another one of his books, it's called The Walking Dead, but I can't, I can't find it. I've been going through all my horror stuff, looking for, um, trying to get it all together, but it ain't really happening. I'm missing, like, I think of almost 20 uh, Richard Lehman books that I just can't find. Is his name Richard? God, I've got no idea. So this came out in 88. God, I don't know if that's vintage, but that's younger than I am, which is a worry. Uh, this, William Sambrot, Island of Fear. This is another book of short stories. The guy who sold me this was telling me about uh, one of the stories he said was awesome, and I can't remember now what it was. Okay. Oh, it's science fiction. This isn't horror. Why is this in here? This should have been in the science fiction video. Uh, video. Island of Fear, Creature of Snows. I'm sure he said it was about... Um... Anyway, these are the stories there, aren't they? Yeah, I flipping love these pa uh, paperbacks. 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s and 70s. This one's 1963, or reissued 1966. Awesome. Dennis Wheatley, I think I've got a couple of his now, um, but none, not read one yet. Bill for the use of a body. one is 1967 yeah and then last one this actually came free in a couple of I bought some like pulp sleaze pulp fiction kind of books and this one came for free dragon under the hill a spine chilling tale of ancient evils and present terror so this one's been read a few times anyway there he goes Gordon Honeycomb, my main man. When did this one come out? 72, 78, okay. Adam's Tale and Red Watch. So yeah, guys, there's some horror, sci-fi, whatever you want to call it. There they go. Oh, you're seeing my tripod there. Breaking the illusion that I know what I'm doing. Peace.